In this video, you will learn how to create a scatter plot using Plotly. Let's import Plotly. Import Plotly.express as px. Let's make a very simple scatter plot with a few random points. Then we will make advanced one with colors and legends. I'll write here figure dot. Now to create a scatter plot, we have to use the method scatter. I will call this px and from this I will call the function scatter and now in scatter plot we will need to access x and y. Let's put some points for x. I will define x is equal to. I will make a list here and inside this I will write some random numbers. Let's say 0, 1. Now let's make a scatter plot with the iris flower data set. So first here I will write here df is equal to and we will get this iris data set from plotly itself i will write here px dot data dot iris and if i print here df dot head not show here in the output you can see we have this iris data set here we will be using this data set to create our scatter plot now let's do that i will write here figure and then I will write here px dot scatter and then we will have to pass this data frame so I will write here df then we will have x and y axis let's define x x is equal to in x we will let's say we will have this sepal underscore width so I can just copy it from here and I will paste it here in single or double quotes then we will have y axis in y axis let's say we will have this sepal length i'll copy it from here and then in single or double quotes i will paste it and then let's do figure dot show and here in the output you can see we got a scatter plot for our iris data set on the x axis we have sepal width and on the y axis we have sepal length here now let's make this plot more beautiful. We will change the size of these circles. We will also plot a legend here. So what I will do, I'll just copy this code from here and I will paste it here. Now I will pass one more parameter, which is color. I will write here, color is equal to, and now we will color this plot by species. So here you will see in species we have different categories and let me print that I will write here df of species dot value underscore counts and you can see that we have three categories here now we will use this species column as a color so we will get three different colors now this circle will have three different colors and we will also have a legend here now let's do that i will write here species and now let us execute our code we already have this figure dot show and now here in the output you can see we got a very beautiful scatter plot here we have legends on the right sides and it is for species setosa versicolor and virginica and these dots or these circles are represented by these species so whatever you see here in green are virginica whatever you see in purple or this is blue actually is setosa and this one red is versicolor now we can also increase the length of this circle we will have to pass one more parameter that is size now what I will do, I will copy this code from here and then I will paste it in a new cell here and here after color I will pass one more parameter and that parameter is going to be size and in size we can give one of these column names. So let's say in this data frame we are already using this sepal length and sepal width. Let's give this petal length. We want to increase the size of the circle by this column petal underscore length. So it means if the length of this petal length, if whatever the length are bigger, they will have bigger circle size and the length which are smaller will have smaller circles. 
now let me pass that here in the double quotes i will paste here petal underscore length now let us execute our code and here in the output you can see that we got a new chart here and this time our circles are different in color so here the petal length if you see it is 1.4 then this is 1.5 1.5 1.7 and if i hover it over on edge this is 4.8 so you can see that here the size of this petal length is small which is 1.5 here here it is 1.7 here it is 1.5 and if i go to this red one here the petal length is increasing here it is 4.5 then 4.8 4.5 4 3.9 and now let's check the green one if i hover it over green it is 6.4 it has increased from 4 to 6 now then here also 6.1 6.1 6.9 and so on so the size of this circle depends upon the length present in this variable petal underscore length and you can change the variable here instead of petal length you can always take another variable so we have other variables in this are uh, petal underscore width i don't know how many different values we have in this variable but we can still try so here instead of petal length i can write here petal width and let us execute our code and here in the output you can see now the sizes are very small because here the size is 0 0.1 0 0.2 then we have 0 0.5 for red one we have 1.5 1.4 and for green one we have 2.1 2.3 and so on so this is how the size of this circle changes with respect to the values that are present in the column now here this color that we have used which is species is a categorical variable here we have seen that we have used this color species which is categorical variable therefore we have three colors in the legend that is setosa versicolor and virginica but we can also we can also have a continuous variable in our color so now let's consider petal underscore length in our color instead of the setosa so what i will do here i will copy this code from here and I will paste it here now instead of species which is a categorical variable we will have petal length which is a continuous variable so if I show you here so species is a categorical variable but petal length and petal width these are continuous variable and now let's have this petal length I'll copy this from here and then here I will remove species And I will paste it here now let us execute our code and we should have a new scatter plot so here we are okay I have to put here H H is missing here now you can see in the output we have a scatter plot with the color as our continuous variable or numerical variable and here we have this colors so this color indicates that the numbers which are between 1 to 3 they are in dark colors or you can say blue and purple and as you go up 4 to you can say 6 they are in a kind of red color and above 6 they are in orange color so these different shades of color will distinguish the different circles and that's it so instead of having this categorical variable you can also have a numerical or continuous variable as a color now we can also use a parameter symbol to change the default circle so here you can see we are having this circle here but now let's say if i want to change this circle to something else we can use one parameter which is symbol so i'll just paste that here I'll paste that quote again here and not this one I'll copy this from here I'll paste it here and then let me remove here let let us choose species here 
and then we will pass one more parameter which is symbol and symbol is also going to be a species let us execute our code so now here in the output you can see now instead of circle we are having different symbols here so we are having one this is for uh, setosa which is blue in color we are having circle then this is for versi color and here we have a different uh, shape here then we have this green one which is species virginica here also we have a different uh, shape here so if you want to change the shape you have to use one parameter symbol and you can pass the column name which you will use in this color and then you will get a different shape for different species we can also create scatter plot which supports facetting now let me explain you with an example so first i'll make a new data frame df underscore new and then i will write here px dot data dot tips this is a new data frame that we are going to use then i will write here df underscore new dot head and here in the output you can see we have this new data frame here now we are going to make a new scatter plot with faceting so i will write here figure is equal to px dot scatter then we have here df underscore new this is our data frame then in x we will have let's say in x we will write here total bill we will take this variable total underscore bill in y we will have this variable tip you can see here we have this variable tip then we will color it with color is equal to let's say we will have this variable smoker i will write here smoker and then we want to split this uh, chart with the help of this gender male and female so i will use here one parameter facet underscore color and since we want to split it by a gender male and female we will use this parameter sex and i will write here now i will write one more parameter which is facet underscore row and this i will write here time so we have this time variable which we will take in rows and then i will write here figure dot show and here in the output you will see that we got a new chart here we got a new scatter plot here which is for male and female so here you will see we have this for female and here we have this category smoker how many are smoker and how many are not smoker so all those female who are smoker is denoted by this color blue and females who are not uh, smoker they are denoted by this color red and for male all the males who are smoker are denoted by this color uh, red for smoker and those who are not a smoker they are denoted by this color blue we can also create a marginal distribution plot and let's look at an example so we will use our species only so i will write here figure px dot scatter then we will use this data frame df in x we will have this sepal underscore length in y we will have sepal width sepal underscore width then we have this parameter marginal underscore x let's say we are going to plot this histogram on x and then we will have marginal underscore y and here we will have this rug plot and then let's do figure dot show and here in the output you can see we got a histogram here on this uh, x here and on the y we have this rug plot here this way we can create a marginal distribution plot and let's look at the last plot which is a linear regression or any trend line plot and for that we will use the tips data set 
I will write here df px dot data dot tips df dot head let us look at the data frame and here we have this data frame here df then we have all these parameters and now let's plot it p figure is equal to px dot scatter df and then on x we will have total bill and on y we will have tip so we are going to check what is the tip we are getting on the total bill then we will uh, plot a trend line i will write here trend line and this is going to be ols that is ordinary least least square and then figure dot show and here in the output you can see we got a, a linear regression or trend line here so what we have done here is on the x axis we have this total bill here this is a total bill and on the y axis we have this tip so as you can see that as the total bill is increasing the tip is also increasing for example for this total bill of ten dollar the tip was about two dollars for twenty dollar it is about uh, it is between two and four for thirty we have around four dollar for forty we are having around between four and six dollar and for fifty dollar bills we are having tip between eight and ten dollar and this is a trend line which is ols ordinary least square trend line and here also you can see in the heading we also get here r square which is 0 0.4 point, uh, 0.45 so this is how you can also plot a trend line here and this was all about the scatter plot how you can create scatter plot in plotly i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching